Hi, kids. How are you? You haven't been putting many things in my box lately, so I want you to think about it. Something new and creative. Talk it over with mom or dad. What are some things that you could put in the box to kind of help me feel inspired for a children's sermon? So I have one more edition that was put in here, but I don't think there I have anything else. So I want you kids to think about it, okay? Remember, it's Pastor Tom and Buddy Christ and what's in the box. So let's find out. Let's find out what's what's in here. Let's see if I have Ah, question mark. Hmm. I'm supposed to guess who put it in apparently. I don't think I'm a very good guesser. So whoever put it in, thanks, okay? It's a picture of balloons. It's a picture of balloons. Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but these balloons actually have faces on them. Can you see that? And it looks to me like there's a cranky face up there. Do you see that kind of a whiny, cry, cranky face? Yep, that's it. We've got pretty much everyone is happy, and there's one cranky face. That's supposed to be my idea for a children's sermon. Well, what can we say about that? We all know what it's like to have a group of some friends together and one person's not very happy. That can kind of take the air out of everyone else. How's that? If there's a cranky one among us, it takes the air out of everyone else. That could be an idea. So let's talk, let's use the cranky balloon as an as an excuse to talk about Jesus. Now the Bible doesn't say that Jesus was really cranky. It does say that sometimes Jesus was sad. And he was disappointed, mostly in his followers, his disciples not getting it. And sometimes he was sad and maybe a little cranky when he saw that people were worshiping the wrong things. Like they were worshiping their possessions. Or they were worshiping their relationships. You know, worship means we give surprise. We give we give um, we give honor and glory to something that's more important than Jesus and God. So I think sometimes Jesus would have been this one. It's hard for me to do this upside down. Right there, that one. When he was disappointed, when people would forget how much that God loved them. And how much God had done for us. And how much God was prepared to do for us in Jesus. And, and sending Jesus to the cross to die for our sins. I think sometimes God is disappointed and saddened about that. But the good news is God always forgives us. And God always wants us to come back together in the church as people who love Jesus and who follow him and the balloons are like a party and that we should give thanks always for God's love for us that makes us want to maybe say thank you in a special way or have a party or be grateful or put a smile on our face so God's been disappointed but God forgives and loves us and even though we have a cranky face sometimes when we're with our friends, when we think about how much God was prepared to do for us and how much God loves us, we can always find a reason to smile. 
So that's the thought. I don't know who put this in my, oh, I have an idea who put this in now that I think about it. But if you want to put something in the box, bring it to church, or your mom and dad know how to send suggestions on the email. So I hope you're well. I love you. Remember to say thank you to Jesus. And remember to pray for your pastor. And I'll pray for all of you. Okay? I love you now. Bye-bye.